Hi everyone, this is Theo from ParkerBlocks.com. Today I have a few announcements and a few good deals to share with you. The first is the Urban Sketches Symposium, which is happening this year in Chicago. The registration will open on the 11th of February. That is the early bird registration. One week later, uh, the standard registration is going to open. And this year, they are selling two types of passes. One is the workshop passes, and the other one is the basic pass. So with the workshop passes, you can join workshops and learn from instructors all over the world. For the basic passes, you can attend demonstrations, uh, sketch walks, and also uh, mingle around with your friends, be there for the opening and ending ceremony. So the second pass, the basic pass, is more of a social pass. The workshop pass is more of a learning pass. And if you sign up on the early bird date, which is 11 of Feb, you get some slight discount and a standard registration date which is one week later the prices will be uh, higher uh, if you do want to go i recommend you sign up during the early bird registration because at least from what i've seen in the last few years this event um, has mostly sold out so people are quite competitive when it comes to uh, snapping up the passes even though they are in my opinion a bit expensive but they are almost always sold out on the day that the registration opens so if you do want to go then um, register on the first day if possible now they have released the workshop schedule on their website so I will post a link to the workshop schedule as well as the symposium schedule so you can check out the instructors who are teaching and also find out the courses that are available and if you want to check out all these instructors their work you can just google their name for example Mark Holmes is teaching watercolor silhouette you can just google Mark Holmes art on Google and you will be brought to his website where you can check out more of his work so there are a lot of instructors some are new some are some have been teaching in a symposium for a few years like Liz Steele is still teaching this year. We have Suhita, Swaski, Shari, Veronica Lawler, Asni from Thailand, Jim Blundell from Australia, James Richard, Jason Das from USA. I'll post the links to the schedule and uh, symposium uh, workshops in the video description below. I am not likely to go to the symposium this year because the flight time from Singapore to Chicago is 26-27 hours and coming back is another 26-27 hours. It's very tiring and I have to spend two full days to travel there so I'm not sure um, if I entertain that idea. But for those people who are going to go, I am very sure that you are going to enjoy yourself because uh, last year I went to Manchester for the symposium and I really enjoyed myself and I can see that all the participants there, they were also enjoying themselves very much. The other announcement is I have just bought a new monitor. This is the BenQ SW2700. I bought this to replace my Dell monitor which I've been using for more than 6 years and it's starting to give me problems every day when I switch it on I have to wait 15 to 30 minutes before I can see anything on the screen so it takes a long time to warm up and while waiting I will go for my breakfast but now with this new monitor I can start working the moment I switch on my computer so that's great I will put out a full review for this monitor hopefully this month and talking about review, I also want to uh, mention this tablet that I received a few months ago. This is the Artisu tablet. I've been using it on and off and I'm not really satisfied with it, which is why the, de the review got delayed quite long. Um, if you look at this, the surface is not totally flat and the build quality is not um, very good at least compared to other tablets of the same price range this is very lightweight I can use this like a fan although this is not the intended purpose I also faced some glitches as well hopefully this month I will put out the full review for this as well 
All right, let's talk about some deals that I have found on eBay. Now there is this seller that is selling watercolor boxes on eBay. I'm not sure where he's from, maybe from China or Hong Kong. But anyway, um, he's selling watercolor boxes like this, uh, the 12 half pen boxes, the 24 pen boxes, and the 48 pen boxes. And the watercolor box is only less than US $5 and that includes shipping. So the price is really attractive. Um, I'm not able to find anything that is cheaper uh, outside of eBay, at least from that seller, but for under US $5, you can get a watercolor box like this. I think it's very good. It's going to look something like this, except there are two mixing wells instead of three, which is the box that I have right here. But it's going to have a flat. There are not going to be any colors or any half pens. It's just an empty watercolor box. I will put the link in the video description below. I also found some sellers that are selling the half pens. You know these half pens that are used to hold watercolor. They are also sold at very affordable prices so I will put the link in the video description for you as well of course you have the watercolor box and the pens you might also want to check out some watercolor paints I found some good deals on Amazon for Daniel Smith paints let me show you this is on Amazon USA there is this Daniel Smith set of three primary colors that is selling for 21.57 US dollar so this is almost buy to get one free because each tube usually sells for 11 or 12 dollars the colors in this set are Perlin red Hansa yellow medium and French ultramarine so that's a good selection and this is a good price if you live in US you probably can get free shipping if you are a prime member let me show you the other set. The other set is also from Daniel Smith. This is a set of three secondary colors. Queen of Crydon Burnt Orange. I'm not sure what green this is. Undersea Green. And this is some sort of purple color. So three secondary colors that you can use to complement the first set. This is also around 22 US dollar. So with um, this three tubes, each tube is 15 ml, you can refill one half pan seven times. So this is going to last for a very long time. But uh, if you are if you're looking to save money, if you have a limited budget, then I suggest you just get the primary set because um, those are primary colors, they are more useful. Another good deal is this mission go set of nine tubes so if you want more colors then you can check out this now each tube is smaller it's 7 ml so each tube can only fill the half pan for three times but um, it is still quite a lot of paint because I bought this set one or two years ago and I have not used up the paints completely yet so for $27 I think this is worth it the color selection is quite good except there is no French ultramarine inside I have a dedicated video review for this I will put the link in the video description so you can check it out the other deal is on book depository this is the most skin large watercolor sketchbook and this is selling for Singapore dollars 14.64 which is around less than US $11 the usual price for this watercolor sketchbook is $13 and on Amazon USA the usual price is $16 so that's $16 versus $11 however not everyone is going to see the discounted price because I have asked Book Depository why there is this discrepancy and they say that the deal depends on which country you are from so I'm from Singapore and I'm able to see a very good discount on this but um, 
even without discount, Book Depository, they usually have very good prices for Moleskine sketchbooks. So this is the place where I usually buy uh, Moleskine sketchbooks from. I will put the link in the video description so you can click on it to see whether or not you are able to see the discounted price. So that's all for the announcements and deals. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my YouTube channel, you can make those purchases through Amazon or the Book Depository affiliate links. I earn around five to eight cents for every dollar and it is of no extra cost to you. Other ways of supporting my YouTube channel includes supporting my Patreon page or you can check out my Gumroad page for the online courses that I'm teaching or if you find any interesting videos on my YouTube channel you can share them with your friends. So that's all for today's video. See you in the next video. Bye!